Hello everyone, this is Brody Butler with another Photoshop tutorial for you guys. Uh, today we're going to look at the liquify um, feature and more specifically we're going to look at the performance of it and how we can improve it. Um, if you're dealing with very large, uh, say 300 dpi, 16-bit uh, TIFF images, they can be quite large and Photoshop can have a bit of trouble processing them if you don't have the latest and greatest computer. Um, I'm going to show you a little trick on how you can make Liquify work a whole lot faster um, on these types of images, uh, which is important because when you're using the Liquify tool, uh, it's important that the computer can keep up with your movements. Otherwise, you know, you're going to be moving your warp tool more than you think you're actually moving it, um, and it's going to it's going to stuff up your image, and you're going to have to undo a lot of changes, and uh, it's just a pain. So I have an image here. This is actually a 300 dpi image. Um, it's a TIFF file. I'll just show you the image size here. Um, so it's quite a large file. Um, it's 46 meg. It's 300. Uh, the resolution is 300 dpi. And what I want to do is I want to basically flatten her stomach out here. Not so much a stomach, more a side. Um, it's just a little bit wavy because of the angle and. Uh, the way that she's sort of pushing her, her ribs out. Um, so what I could do is I could go to the filter, liquify. Uh, because it's such a large image, I could um, start doing changes here, but I could find that I get a little bit of lag. You can see it a little bit there. You can see the lag. And that's a real pain. The computer's just not keeping up. Um, and you'll notice it a lot more on computers that aren't as fast. Um, so I want to perform one of these changes and it's just it's not working out for me. So a good little tip is what we can do is go to the image menu, go to our image size and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to change the resolution all the way down to 72 which is what we would use for you know exporting to the web sort of thing. So I'm going to change that down to 72 and click OK and that's you know it's made it a lot smaller. Brody what on earth are you doing? Don't worry, we're going to have a 300 dpi image at the end of this. It's, we're going to get it back. So now I've got a 72 dpi image. So the the processing power needed by the, the computer and by Photoshop isn't as great anymore. Now we're going to go to liquify and we are going to perform whoops, uh, changes. Now liquify, you can see this mesh over the top, and you'll see as I adjust her stomach, you'll see that mesh move. I'm just going to do a really quick rough job just to demonstrate what I'm trying to do here. So a cool little trick is that a lot of people don't realize is there's a freeze mask tool in this in your options on the left. And what you, whatever you paint with this, um, you see I'm painting red, this will freeze whatever is painted red. Uh, and won't be affected by any of the other um, liquify tools. So now when you see when I grab this can drag it in, you see all that stuff painted in red is not moving at all. So that's a really cool little tool to use when using liquify. Um, it'll save you a lot of grief. So I've just done a very, very rough edit here. This isn't normally how I'd use liquify. I'm just trying to show you an example here. So what, I'm, what I've done is I've basically flatten this out and you see the mesh here, these magenta lines, that shows you the modifications that I've made. Now what I can do is I can actually, instead of hitting OK and applying those changes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the mesh. So just up on the right, I click Save Mesh. Um, I've already got it here, Liquify Mesh. I'm just going to overwrite that one, replace it, yes. So that's Save My Mesh. Now I'm actually going to cancel out of the Liquify tool. So I haven't actually made any changes yet. And that was really quick because it was only a, a small 72 dpi image. So it was quite easy to do. Now what I'm going to do is going to go to, going to, go to my history. I'm going to go back before this image size change to where I first opened the image. So I'm basically just going back to my um, 300 dpi image. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to liquify and I'm going to go to load mesh. I'm going to select the mesh that I saved and I'm going to click open and that is going to load the mesh that we saved over this 300 dpi image. And you see it's made 
the changes there exactly the same as what I made to my 72 DPI image. So now what I can do is I can go and okay, go ahead and click OK, and that's going to apply those changes to my 300 DPI image. So if your computer isn't quite that fast and you have a lot of trouble using the liquify tool, um, I highly recommend going and changing your image size from a high resolution to a low resolution, then using the liquify tool, save the mesh that you create, and then go back to your 300 DPI version and then load that mesh and you're done. And it actually works out a lot quicker. Um, but more importantly, when you're using the liquify tool, it's so much easier if the computer is actually keeping up with what you're doing. It makes it so much easier to manage it and it'll, it won't give you as much grief. Um, just quickly, another quick little tip that you can use for um, speeding up your liquify process is say in this example, the only thing I want to liquify is her, her right arm here, so her camera left arm. I can just select that and with that selected, I can then go to my filter menu and click liquify. And what that's gonna do is it's only gonna load my selection. So for such a large image, because I've only selected a small part of that image, liquify will actually work a lot quicker. Um, it's, and it's quite good in that way. And then I can just perform my changes, just a, a small sort of tuck in of the arm and click OK. And see that works quite fast because I've only selected a small part of the image. So it's not trying to process the entire image. Um, so there's a couple of really simple ways on how you can speed up your liquify process if you're having problems. I uh, hope it helped you out. You guys can check out more of my tutorials on my blog at brodybutler.com forward slash blog. Thanks for watching.